Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Mondays with Moss, a weekly video series about helping you to live an extraordinary life, a life where you can be happy, successful, and accomplish what's important to you. So today I want to talk to you about the waiting game, the waiting game, waiting around for something to happen. Remember that um, story play, Waiting for Godot, Waiting for Godot? Two guys waiting at a crossroads, probably in Russia, I think, for something to happen, but nothing really happens because they're just playing the waiting game. <clears throat> so there's a difference between the waiting game and the action game. So I have a question for you. Uh, how does a chick, a little baby chick, know when to peck its way out of an egg? You know, it, it, it gets birth, it's living in the egg, it's very nurturing, it's very lovely, luscious, luscious marinade, swims around, it's eating, has nothing to do, it's protected, it's nice and warm. <clears throat> so why, when, how does it know when to peck out and to come out here into the real world and hang out with other chicks and chickens and hens and roosters and all that good stuff? Well, what happens is as the little baby chick is swimming around in the, in the egg, the luscious fluid of the leg, egg, egg uh, it's also excreting its waste products right into the uh, environment that it's living in. So it's crapping where it's eating. And we know bathrooms and kitchens don't go well together. So what happens is the toxicity in the egg it just builds up until it becomes really quite distasteful, I would imagine. And finally, the chick, a smart chick, would say, oh, I'm done with this. i got to get out of here. And it starts to peck its way um, out of the egg. It has to really work to peck, so it needs a lot of strength. <clears throat> now, if there's a chick that hangs around in the egg too long and the toxicity is building up, it's, it's ingesting its own uh, waste products. And it's, it's wasting away because its muscles are deteriorating. It's not good food. It's bad food. And what happens is when it really gets disgusting and the chip finally says, I'm out of here. I got to get out. When it tries to peck with this little pecker, it can't do it. It isn't strong enough. Its pecker is not strong enough. So the key is if you want to live a great life, have a good pecker, <laughs> so to speak. But to do that, you have to take action. Now, in the 21st century, I think the chronic disease that we're all suffering is chronic stress disorder, which is bombarded with stresses and tensions and worries. Every day we're bombarded with the TV. I think this recent study from the American Psychological Association indicates about 62% of our American population wakes up every day dreading where our, our country is going in the future. So the vast majority of people, not vast, but the majority of people have considerable moderate to high anxiety. So um, basically, we now know that each day we have about 2,500 conscious thoughts. What am I going to do today? How is this meeting going to work? Hmm, do I look OK? Am I going to get stuck in traffic? Is my key battery going to die? So forth and so on. Now, of these 2,500 thoughts, 2,000 of them, or 80% 80, 80 of them, are negative. It probably isn't going to work. I'm going to get screwed again. My boss never says hello. It probably won't happen today. And um, I, I don't think I'm going to get a raise, even though I think I deserve it. So we have an 80% of this negativity, and it kind of locks us into taking action. We wait around in the egg too long. And we keep hoping that things will get better. Maybe if I'm a little more perfect, maybe if I try a little harder, maybe if I'm a little more seductive, maybe if I'm a little kinder, I'll get the happiness and the joy and the satisfaction I want. One day I'll be saved. One day my prince will come. Well, maybe they will, maybe they won't. Well, maybe if I just do the right thing, fairness will show up. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It's living life as maybe. Um, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> From my perspective, I think action is the best antidote to anxiety. Um, think it out, look at your options, and take action. So here are several ideas you can use to really stop playing the waiting game, peck your way out of the egg, and live an extraordinary life. Okay? Number one, don't spend time with toxic people. Look at the people in your life. Are they pulling you down? They're like the waste products in social relationships. Get rid of them. Or, or confront them and just say, look, when you keep putting me down and you're sarcastic and you hurt my feelings, I, I don't like it. It has to stop. I was once working with a female patient whose husband was dreadfully uh, sarcastic. They would have dinner and he would say, oh, oh, so did you, did you eat that cake today before you went out? You know, you are gaining a little weight there. You're kind of cute, but you're gaining weight around that waist area. 
and he would embarrass her and get a real chuckle in front of um, their friends. Well, one day uh, I coached her and this is what she did. The next time I said, your husband, excuse me, next time your husband um, embarrasses you like that, just look at him and say, stand up, put your hands on your hips, and say, is it your intention to humiliate me in front of our friends? I find your behavior really quite disgusting. I want you to stop it. Now, he's either going to stop it because you're embarrassing him, or if he continues, what you say is, I'm leaving. I just don't want to spend time with someone who's abusive and walk out. I guarantee you he will be embarrassed, or your friends will look at him and think he's a real jerk. So um, don't spend time with toxic people. Take action. You deserve better. Another uh, idea here in terms of getting out of the egg is don't wait until you're uh, too anxious or too sick to act. Sometimes we wait, wait, wait. Things get worse and worse and worse. Uh, exercise, for example. Well, I'm not feeling too bad. Yeah, my blood pressure is maybe 150 over 90, but it's not over 200. I'll get, I'll get to exercise. I just don't have time right now. If you wait too long, the blood pressure goes up, the arteries clog, and the nervous system basically starts to fall apart. So take action and stay healthy. Third, uh, action is the best antidote to anxiety. Rather than waiting and hoping, take action. Even if it doesn't work out, you'll probably feel better knowing you, you did something about it. You weren't a passive egg uh, chick waiting in the egg. And lastly, leave, live your dream. Don't wait for your prince to come. One day my prince will come. Your prince isn't going to come. If you want your prince, go out and get one. If you have a dream, act it. Like right now, for example, I decided to launch my um, film script. I didn't, um, if my mother's dead, why am I still listening to her or still arguing with her, actually? If my mother's dead, why am I still arguing with her? So I teamed up with a really good director. We're casting now. We're going to do a, a pilot um, episode for a, a, a web-based TV situational comedy. Now, I'm anxious about that. I've been thinking about that for two and a half years. But finally, I said, I was watching, I think, Kominsky's Method with Michael Douglas and Alan Alder, and I, uh, Arkin. And, and, and there was a scene in that, that script that reminded me of my script. I said, what am I waiting for? I'm letting time pass. No one's going to come knocking on my door and ask me, do I have a film script? So I have my film script. I'm going to do three pilot uh, programs and then put it on web base, hopefully get a big fan base, and if we're lucky, get it bought up by a, a major uh, a TV distributor for situational comedy. Maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. But I got to tell you, I feel a lot better having launched and being in action rather than hoping. So I hope this is helpful to you. Uh, enjoy your day, and may you live an extraordinary life. Happy holidays.